I'm of an age where I can remember a time when we didn't have radiators in our house. Most of the heat came from the fire. And the radiator was the 20th century's equivalent of the fireside. Radiators don't convey a, a, a consistent amount of warmth, certainly through a room of this size. But if there's progress, there's an alternative to radiators. With the old style of heating, with a radiator under a window, you get cold spots, you get warm spots. And so, you know, you may have your favorite place in the room, but it might not actually be that comfortable to be in. With Wonderfloor, wherever you go in a space, in a room, the temperature's constant and it's comfortable and it works around you. I probably had a vision of underfloor heating involving some massive pipes being installed and uh, you know workmen digging down into the foundations of the house. It was nothing like as dramatic or disruptive as I thought it was going to be and was laid in three days, something like yeah. that, over quite a large area. But of course this is just new technology. I mean, things have moved on, things have developed, and the way that underfloor heating might have been laid 10 or 20 years ago has evolved. So it's not a case that you've got to dig all your floors up to have underfloor heating. It just doesn't work like that anymore. Underfloor heating now, you can actually have laid over the floor that you've already got. Almost as a, like a piece of flooring, really, underneath the flooring. Take your carpet up, prepare your subfloor, just lay the mats down, run the pipe through, and that's pretty much it. It's really, really easy. I have to recommend them. They're so easy to use and they're so comfortable to live with. The reason for me for choosing a wonderful heating system is that they are more cost effective to run. And so if there is a practical alternative to something which you've become used to, it takes a little bit of convincing yourself that this will work. And I think your experience of witnessing underfloor heating in action in somebody's house was that that was the road to Damascus moment, that was the yeah, conversion. Yeah, definitely. The first time I came across underfloor heating was going to a friend's house, walked into this kitchen and there was just this heavenly heat, gentle heat emanating from the floor. When people come here for the first time and they walk into the main living space, they're just not expecting it. Their first reaction is, oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's literally that and it's like shoes off they're like oh it's like being in a spa isn't it really yeah it's really comfortable you don't even know there's a heating system in here it's invisible it just works because there's not much between the tiles and the actual hot water pipes the heat up is pretty instant and i think there's there's an eco element to to it which we've all got to think about yeah i mean definitely you don't need as much heat to heat up the water underneath the floor and that's surely got to save energy as well I'm expecting to see a decrease in energy bills, especially now we've got this Wonder Smart system, which is in every single room in the house, which means we can independently control each room. It's the precision, really. The control is, is key. And so it's not just a question of helping to save the planet, it's helping to save your bank account too. And that is what wonder underfloor heating systems afford you to do. You can, you can mess around with different floor finishes, whether that's timber, tiling, carpet, lino. It really doesn't matter. You, you, you can put whatever you want on top of them and that is the beauty of the one floor system.